What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another vlog. We are getting out of our rut, you guys. I have been in just like a winter rut, you know? You guys know I had like a rough week and then from then on, it was just kind of, I don't really know how to describe it. Like nothing is wrong. It's just a rut. Like, I haven't been motivated to do anything. And then I got the flu and I was sick as shit for a week. So I really want to get out of my rut and just kind of get back into a routine. So I have like a three day, three pronged plan to get myself out of my rut. And I wanted to take you guys along with me. I think it's so important not to overdo it and over push yourself. I think if you try to go from zero to 100, that is just like a really good way to burn out. So just I think the easiest example is working out. If you're like, all right, I'm gonna go from working out zero days a week to seven days a week starting tomorrow, that is like the easiest way to make unrealistic expectations for yourself. So it's important to make realistic expectations, which is why I'm like kind of giving myself these three days to slowly start incorporating things back into my routine. So we just slowly wanna start incorporating things that make us happy again, which for me is like three different things. So for the home, my house is never like crazy dirty by any means, but the laundry is kind of piled up, you know, the dishes, things could just be a little bit cleaner. I could run the vacuum, get the dog hair off the ground. So I feel like that is the best place to start when you're in a rut is just cleaning up your environment because having that nice, clean reset in your environment just makes you feel good all together so that's kind of my plan for later today it is monday so i am working it's 3 30 so my day is almost over not quite but after work today that's like my one goal is to just do like a little bit of a clean you know like i said laundry floors the second kind of prong for me getting out of a rut and everyone's different but for me is like my body so movement i love getting movement in, especially as someone who works from home, I find that I sit in this desk chair like all day long and barely move. So even if it's just like going downstairs and doing the stationary bike, I really want to get back in the gym. I am still battling like a lingering cough from having the flu for a week. The cough just hasn't gone away. So I'm not gonna push myself. And I think that's really important. Like I'm not gonna be working out to the extent of getting out of breath, but I would like to get some movement again. And then the third thing is mind. For me, this is one, getting outside. That's another thing the past few days in Tampa have been pouring rain. So I've been just stuck in my apartment. So one, I really wanna get outside, just going on a walk. And two, I want to get back into my hobbies it's so important to do things beyond work and for me like a hobby of mine is tiktok and it has been just filming like my little mornings and whatever and i probably haven't posted and we're probably coming on three weeks which is a really long time for me for tiktok as someone who usually or was posting every single day and to me that just really shows i'm in a rut if i'm not like posting and doing something that i enjoy so I really wanna get back into filming and being more intentional with making sure I'm keeping up with my hobbies because I love doing it and I wanna grow and you gotta keep posting to grow. So that's kind of my three things. Like I said, I'm gonna give myself three days to slowly incorporate them back in. Like I would like to go on a walk today outside, but I'm not gonna go on like an hour walk. It might be a 15 minute walk because just slowly but surely, we're gonna start doing these things. And it's almost like you have to force yourself. I'm all about allowing some time off and I've taken it and I'm ready to get back into it. And in order to do that, I have to force myself to do these things. And then as I force myself to do them, it'll feel more like a routine. I'll start to enjoy them and hopefully we will be out of our rut. And I wanna take you guys along. That was kind of a long intro, but that's kind of my plan over the next few days. I do need to finish up my work day before we can do any of that. But yeah, I just wanted to enter the vlog, welcome you guys back to the channel and let you know what you're in for in this vlog. Step one, 
we're gonna get outside. The blue sky looks beautiful. Like I said, nothing crazy. It's actually kind of chilly. I'm gonna put a jacket on and maybe just like a 10 or 15 minute walk. Let's get out of my 800 square feet cage that I live in. What's the temperature? 65. That's pretty good actually. I thought it was colder than that. this so I have to be so careful not to just like dump it even just going on that 15 minute walk earlier like it gets my cough going again I think because obviously I'm breathing a little bit heavier and I think my lungs get irritated and so I'm just I'm getting better I can tell like even tonight I feel like my cough has been a little bit less but I'm just still not 100%. What I'm gonna do now, we're gonna do our like clean that I said I really wanted to do, but we're gonna make it quick. I have the oven preheating to 350 and I'm doing like a sheet pan dinner with broccoli and chicken sausage, really easy go-to meal. And once the oven preheats, that has to cook for about 20 minutes. So all in with the oven preheating, I have like a 30 minute time period right now. And I'm just gonna get as much cleaning as I can done in this 30 minutes and that will be our like home reset. First things first, I'm gonna pick up the dog toys that are everywhere. I don't know if anyone else's dog is like this, but Franklin is literally a toddler. He pulls out every toy. He's like, which one can I get them to play with? So this is what we're gonna start with, cleaning up my toddler's toys. Did you bring out every toy that you own? I'm putting them back. <laughs> refreshed only other thing I wanted to do while the food was cooking that I didn't quite have time for was full of what I have in the dryer that's been in there for like three days but I'm just gonna take a break and eat and then we can fold laundry while we're like relaxing watching TV it's like a leisurely activity and then I feel like at least my apartment is put together now I wanted to sit down and enjoy my tea and get some reading done, but I can't find my book. Transparently, haven't picked it up in about a week because of the flu. Does that happen? Do you lose books? I've never lost a book. I'm like, the only thing I can think is I left it in the gym last week, but like, I don't feel like I would do that. Hmm, I guess I don't get to read this morning because I'm determined to find that book. 
but good morning you guys day two of our three-pronged approach to getting out of this rut i made a morning tiktok hello i filmed a little spend the morning with me nothing revolutionary that's something that i struggle with with tiktok is content ideas you know you scroll and watch other people's tiktoks to try to get inspiration and something i've learned is you just gotta film everything. I mean, like, you went to the grocery store, grocery haul. You have a random thought about traffic, film it. And like, you never know what's gonna go. Hit the algorithm and like, get a lot of views. And yeah, that's the one thing I've learned. Like, I need to start reprogramming my brain to like, this sounds sad, but like everything I'm doing, could this be a TikTok? because the odds are the answers are yes. That's something I've always struggled with as someone who just chills at home most of the time is like, what the hell do I film? We did it, we filmed a little spend the morning with me. So we have done another thing, gotten back into our hobby. My brain is back into the like thinking about content zone. I'm gonna go on a walk again today. Our space is clean. The only thing I have left to do is get back in the gym um, and then just stay consistent with everything. I'm already feeling better, so that's definitely a good sign. I'm not sure if we're gonna get back in the gym today or tomorrow. My cough is so much better today, you guys. Like I've only coughed like a few times since I woke up and that's kind of what I'm waiting on to go to the gym. But yeah, going to the gym doesn't have to mean going and like doing the hardest workout ever. Like for me, it'll probably mean going and doing the stationary bike, so. It's not that big of a deal, but we just gotta decide what we wanna do. I'm gonna search around for my book. I'm like, where could that have possibly gone? This is very cute. This brand sent me a little PR package and there is a lot of goodies in here. I'm actually really excited. Quick 75 hard update because I am nothing but honest since this says sending you some goodies to get you through 75 hard. Honestly, I was saying I was doing so good even the week that I was like having a tough time um, just like with stuff in life. I was still getting to the gym and doing everything I needed to do. And then I got the flu. So I've been falling off the horse for a week. Now it's been exactly a week. So I am planning to finish off strong. I believe I have 20 something days left and I think 25 days left, and I am planning to just pick up where I left off and continue, so I'm not quitting. I just had the flu and life happens, so. But we're continuing with no alcohol. As soon as I can get back in the gym, we'll get back on that part, and then obviously the reading. But let's go through this package. We have some grippy socks, which are amazing for Pilates. We have some make time woman's multivitamin. Y'all know I love my vitamins. We have this little belt bag from Vure. This is very nice for like going to workouts. I love a belt bag to just throw my phone and like headphones in. And it's this like pattern. Innis free matte velvet setting powder a laneige lip sleeping mask vanilla one which is my favorite this works perfect legs body butter and body scrub some in this free sheet mask a deep sleep pillow spray and the laneige lip sleeping or no this is laneige sleeping mask i don't know i've never heard of this after moisturizer apply evenly across the face as the last step of your skincare routine leave on overnight and rinse off in the morning wow this is like one of the most fun like pr type packages i've ever gotten so many just like variety in here and this was sent to me from Belair, which I believe, I, I hope I'm correct in this, but I'm pretty sure it's like a social media marketing company. So I need to send them a thank you. Mm -hmm. 
you guys we did it we did 45 minutes of cardio. We're officially back at it. I have officially checked off everything on my little get out of my rut. And I feel pretty good. But the key is to keep it up. Like can't just do it for three days or two days it's been and expect to be good. Like it's something that I'm gonna have to force myself. Every day we're walking outside. Every day we're doing some kind of workout. Like you got to keep it going in order to really get out of the rut, but I'm feeling good. I am cooking dinner while Will is over at the grill and he is grilling us some like barbecue chicken. I'm throwing on some sweet potato fries. Just a nice, simple dinner. In fact, I need to put these in. Set a timer for 20 minutes. It's only 6.15. We actually kind of logged off of work a couple minutes early. I had a meeting that went till 4.30 and then I logged off after the meeting. Um, so I'm kind of like a little bit ahead of schedule right now. So now that that's in the oven, I have 20 minutes until dinner is probably like about ready. I really want to take a shower and get cozy and then I can just have the like coziest night. I've been catching up on The Bachelor. I hadn't been watching, but I keep seeing the drama everywhere. So I was like, okay, I need to watch this. So I've been catching up. I think I still have three more episodes and then I'm like fully caught up. So I want to get cozy so that we can have a chill night catching up. Something I need to be better about is calling people. I'm so, I'm just not a talk on the phone kind of gal. Like it really doesn't matter who it is. Like it can be my mom, my grandma, my best friend. Like I'm just more of a texter. I would rather you send me a really long paragraph life update and me like respond when I get time to then talk on the phone and I know that's so bad because I know talking on the phone is like more personable and as I'm saying that I'm literally texting my grandma anyway we'll work on that another day another day we'll work on that um I'm just getting cozy obviously and I have tretinoin on my skin I do tretinoin every three days but I ran out of my moisturizer I was using. It was the Kate Somerville water cream. And I've had this one laying around. So I thought we could try it and do a little first impression. It's the Skin Proud Sorbet Skin Everyday Jelly Moisturizer. I haven't heard of this brand, Skin Proud. Thought we could try it out. I have had this forever. I got it sent to me a while ago. So first impression. I love this texture like I love a water cream so I really like this like jelly texture but it smells like paint like literal paint so oh I do like how it feels though it's not like a thick cream it's like a water cream which I love the smell isn't as strong once you put it on your face so I like it the tell will be if I break out but it's definitely like a nice light water cream feeling that smells potent though I, i'm not gonna lie it's burning a little bit okay i probably will keep using it i don't know guys it's burning my skin a little i'll see how my skin reacts like overnight and i'll probably give it a few days but i don't know if i'm gonna i might have to buy a moisturizer because i don't know i don't know if i like that honestly finishing off my way hair oil this will definitely be a repurchase for me my french fries are ready lunch break this is like as good as it gets for a lunch break What's up guys? I have not talked to the camera yet today. I've just been literally working all day long. Um, I did get a few things done. I took a break today to like do some dishes, cooked myself some lunch, but otherwise just been sitting at my desk literally all day. So I have a few things I want to get done now that the work day is over, which are all my like 75 hard and also just getting out of a rut things so we're gonna go walk the dogs get outside a little bit i'm gonna go to the gym and do 45 minutes of cardio and i 
just want to kind of like stay off my phone and do my reading and then we're gonna probably just chill tonight watch some tv cook dinner so yeah we're gonna run i'm dog sitting so we have two dogs so will's gonna walk with me and we're gonna get outside and walk these dogs it's been a good day so far though another like good thing to do if you're trying to feel better and get out of a rut is to get yourself ready in the morning i'm trying to be better about that i feel like i'm pretty good about it but i'm trying to be better so i like actually did my makeup and hair today just makes you feel a little bit better i'm feeling really good i just did another workout i did 45 minutes on the stationary bike and i read while i was on the bike i did find my book will reminded me that i took it to the pool so i found it it was in my pool bag found my book read that on the stationary bike got in an outdoor walk i'm doing all the things and that's really all you can do is wake up every day and do the things that make you feel good and these are things that are just as easy not to do. Like it's just as easy for me to sit here and scroll on TikTok for 45 minutes versus go downstairs and sit on the stationary bike for 45 minutes. Like it's not like I'm doing difficult tasks. It just takes that intrinsic motivation to get you there. And that's the thing. It's so easy to not do it. It's so easy to just keep ignoring it, not go on outdoor walks, not work out, not read. Like these, it's so easy to not do it. So yeah, you just have to keep waking up every day, keep doing it, and eventually you will get yourself out of your little rut if you are stuck in one like I was. Yeah, and the only way to keep from that rut coming back is to keep doing these things every single day. So that's what I'm going to keep doing. I've got my sheet pan dinner cooking up. I'm about to take a shower, take this makeup off, and just have a relaxing night. I finally have been getting good sleep, so I wanna keep that going. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know a lot of people have been struggling. I think the winter is a time where it can be difficult. So I hope this video helped at least somebody if you are also feeling like you're in a rut. And with that being said, I will see you guys so very soon in my next video. Bye guys.